What's up, guys? What's up, say, yo? What's up, my people? ADG is in the building, telling Donovan that in this episode, if you want to be heard, you may even get a chair and come a little closer, because last episode, he wasn't heard. And also to let you guys know, the completion is only 20%. I made a promise in the community tab that I was going to beat this game this week. But then I looked online to see how long this game is, and it turns out this game is almost 13 hours long. 13 hours long. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. It really is. A real long, a lot of time. So it don't like we're going to be finishing it by Sunday. But just know, I am on the job, and I am always looking to complete this game in my spare time. So with that being said, you know what? I've been looking at the screen forever, but I never noticed that you got spike nunchucks. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's cue that new TV Tokyo intro with my boy Asta. My magic is never giving up! I'm guessing now we can move further down this lane. Now that we can see it all. Oh, I didn't know this shit. Pick up the entire bench and beat people in. Just beat them up with a freaking bench. Just beating up people with bitches is fun. Have you beat up someone with a bitch today? And if you don't have a bench, order your bench to get bitches to put people anuses.com. Go ahead. <laughs> you remember you can't hit me anyway. I think you, you got a black recruit now. <laughs> so Is we can this finally... a construction site? It's so yucky. Yo, Magic Boy! You up there? My name's not Magic Boy. He's up there. Come on. Let's go beat some info out of him. Yeah, you can throw any weapon in my person trying to. And that's the hot tip of the moment, people. Well, this is locked. We're going to have to do something special to unlock that and proceed. Anime scene. <laughs> Yamada boss fight, people. Let's go. Ladies, welcome to my lair. This is a rooftop. Yeah, not even a finished one. If rooftops can be lairs. Whatever. We're looking for Kunio and Ricky. That big girl said you hang out with them. Do ya? <laughs> As if. Those guys are losers. What did he say about my Ricky Pooh? Chill, Kyoko. I'll chill this guy's face! Relax. I haven't talked to him in years. I thought you guys were friends. We were. A long time ago. What's happening? We were a long time ago. It's a flashback. No one cares, Yamada. We were just kids then. I need to know. Like, I don't know everything about the Kunio. I was 10 years old when my family moved to River City. I hated them for moving. I hated having to leave my friends behind. I hated lots of things. I hate you guys! Is this gonna take long? I was sure I'd never make another friend. But as we unpacked, this boy across the street said hello. Hey. His name what was up, Kunio, Ninja? And he seemed nice. He is nice. Now where is he? Is Ricky in the story? Kunio and I became best friends. We read comics together, watched TV, played intergalactic space rangers. Life was good. Aww, Why didn't y'all play Power Rangers? Only because Kunio's in it. Like I do on the then channel. Then one day, a girl transferred to our school. Her name was Hasabe, and she was an angel. 
It was the first and last time I ever fell in love. Hasabe, oh, I can't stand her. Yeah, she's sort of the worst. I ran to the park after school that day, excited to tell my best friend Kunio about the girl I would soon marry. Wait, aren't you like 10? Yeah, that's pretty weird, dude. But when I got to the park, Kunio was already there. So was Hasabe. Oh, dang, that's hecka sad. Her Kunio, no. maybe. That trash girl never deserved him. That night, I decided I would get my revenge. On Kunio, on Hasabe, on everyone. I turned to the dark arts to become stronger. That's creepy. I don't like scary things. Wrap it up, Merlin. Then later, middle school. Okay, we get it. Jeez. Okay. I lost the love of my life and my best friend in the same day. But thanks to the dark arts, I would never again be... Okay, wait up. Love of your life? You barely met the girl. Did he even meet her? Wait, yeah, did you even meet her? Love needs no introduction. That's not how love works. Sure is. Listen, freak show. I don't care about your childhood, your crush widow. on trash queens, or any fakey magic tricks you learned. We're looking for Kunio. And Ricky. And Ricky. So either tell us who took him, or stop wasting our time. <laughs> you girls are all the same. What? We look nothing alike. Always exactly. insulting me. Always treating me like dirt. You look like dirt. Oh! Now, part of why I learned the dark arts was to meet girls. <laughs> Looks like that's about to pay off. Ew. It's going down. Masako and Kyoko versus... It's about to get dark. Be a little bit careful at first. <laughs> if I ever come to die. Why do I have a hard time coming? This always happens to you. I'm sorry. I am trying three times. Yeah. This time it's use the items if we're about to die. And don't fall off the roof. Move. Don't try to fight him when you get shot. You're gonna teleport. You're gonna throw up and you're gonna shoot. Okay. Teleport. What the? Oh, oh, oh. I got you. Where's my food item? Oh. 
Are you kidding me? More pride. It's over, Yamada! Oh, I'm so close! Come on! I knocked him off the roof! Yeah. <laughs> but he oh, appears suck. back on the roof. It's in dark arts, bro. You can't Stay knock down. him off the roof. Don't try any more of that magic crap on us. Yeah, because it's spooky. Seriously, I can't even watch horror movies. <laughs> Never thought I'd get beat up by a pair of girls. I could have guessed it. We won the battle, so tell us where our boyfriends are. I have no idea. Why does this keep happening? You really have no idea? We miss him pretty bad. Try Uptown. Sometimes I hang out there after school. How do you know that? I hang out on top of a building all day, remember? I see lots of things. That's Creep. weird. And sad, but whatever. See you later, creepy. See, the person I play with agrees with me. We got a love letter. And we defeated the dark art. 2,000 HP, 350 money, and we leveled up. Keep going. Keep finish. Oh hey, it's you two again. I got another mission for you. Why you? This time it's that pompous mayor of ours, always acting like Barrel. he runs River City. Psh. You seen that hideous golden statue they built of him? Well, I want it gone. Destroy it, and I'll reward you. You ain't a boss of us, but we'll do the mission. So, what we gotta do now, just go straight forward up. And then come back. Okay. <laughs> there it is, oh, hey, it's Yoko. Sup? What are you doing in Uptown? Yoko, what's up, girl? I live here. Good. You're rich? No, but my parents are. Have you seen Kunio and Ricky around here? Nope. Why? They ditched you guys again? Again? No, they got kidnapped. For real? That's pretty metal. No, it's pretty sad, and it makes my heart hurt. Oh, Ricky. Kyoko, show her your text. Oh, yeah. Hmm, you should go talk to Hibari. Who? Uh, the fashion designer? Jeez, don't you guys know anything? Nope. I we shop at Discount. Nothing. I found the world. shirt at a bus stop. The thug in this photo, the one shoving your boyfriends into the van, he's wearing one of Hibari's custom jackets. Ooh, nice detectiving. Everyone who's cool wears Hibari. No offense. None taken. Hibari's warehouse is at the east end of Uptown. Show her this photo. She might know who took your boyfriends. Everything's changed now, but I think if we go to the other spot too, it's gonna do something. Then we go down. Oh god, not those two. Oh, I love these two. Why? It's these Your two. alert. Oh, it's you guys again. What's up, Hasabe? Oh, you know, just hanging around. Now Looking we know why. stylish as hell. Do you two you know this fashion well. lady? <laughs> well, no. Oh, you're serious. I usually am. Hibari is the fashion icon in River City. She's making us custom outfits. Well, where is she? Yeah, we got questions. Oh, let me guess. How do socks work? <laughs> What's a bra? <laughs> mm -hmm. Like you I need one. You ain't got nothing up there. Uh, you need an offering for Hibari to show up, Misako. Jeez, everyone knows that. Except them, apparently. An offering? Something fancy. Expensive. And gold. Can it just be colored gold? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kyoko. Let's go find an offering. Something gold to make that weirdo fashion, fashion designer guy. show up. 
But we're so poor. Let's try the pawn shop in the toy district. Maybe we can trade him something. Like a knuckle sandwich. Now you're talking. Well, I know now, like, when it comes up, we just kind of tell them Shop? Looks pretty empty. We have to head downstairs. It's in the basement. Can we We're take the, the elevator? Yeah. Oh wait, it's broken. I'm not used to walking this much. You ever wonder why everyone in our town is so violent? Nope. I mean, everyone's always punching and kicking each other. Like, everywhere we go, all day long. I guess so. I was, I was What's your point? It. Nothing. <laughs> 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 Welcome to my pawn pawn shop. Shop. Let's go, Is that a talking skeleton? Rude! You act like I'm not even here. Sorry. How do you talk without lips? It's Unimportant! Cool solo. How can I help you? Might I interest you girls in a stuffed monkey? Ew, no! How about an unstuffed monkey? We need something gold. Well, I'm all out of golden monkeys. What about that golden cat? Oh, that? A treasure indeed, from lands far away. How much, Boney? One million dollars! What? You're joking. I would never joke about such a precious item. Can we get a discount? Well, yeah. I can take five dollars off. But just so you know, that's pretty much break even for me. What? What about that cat? Five dollars the other gold million. one. Oh, that? Ten dollars. It looks exactly like the million dollar one. Yeah, but it's not real gold! Sold! <laughs> Let me bag that up for you. So we got a fake gold cat. I'm kind of upset. I kind of want to fight the guy because he looks so cool. <laughs> and we just talking about people with tendencies. Like, I want to fight this guy because he looks cool. Thank you. Anytime you gain in the narrow space, you can't go in. I'm sorry, I, I let the hill. Stupid Kyoko, you're just a joko. Hey, that rhymes. I know, that's why I said it. Please stop it. Or what, you're gonna cry? Of course she is, dumb baby. Look, she's already sniveling. Snivel, little snail, do it. Yo, what's the problem here? Mind your own business. Yeah. They've been kicking butt she ever since the day they was born. Me. My beautiful head. Yeah, you better run. Get off, kid. What's your name? So cool. That's a weird name. I'm Masako. Aww. You're so cool, Masako. Tell me something I don't know. Come on. Let's get this knockoff cat back to that fashion designer. You ever notice that the, the hood be moving and talking when they be doing I just noticed it now. I didn't notice it before either. Yo, lady! Here's a golden cat for ya! Are we supposed to do something now? 
I don't know. What do you fear this time? You look crazy looking. I got a nice entrance. Fight. Enjoy your gold cat or whatever. Hmm, it's a little banged up. It's also not real heavy. It's not real heavy, except it is because it's gold, right, Kyoko? Oh, ah, uh, that is correct. The offering is acceptable. What would you like designed? Can you do mini skirts? Actually, we need information. I don't do information. I do fashion. Okay. And you're wasting my time. You're wasting her time. She does fashion, Our boyfriend's okay. got kidnapped. The guy in this photo is wearing one of your jackets. So? Find me someone in River City not wearing my fashion. We aren't. Okay, you look stuck Ugh, up. I can see that. Enough insults. We got your dumb cat. Now float down here and help us. I'm sick of this crappy cosplay spider stick. You look ridiculous. <laughs> She's just a little grumpy. Now, about that mini skirt. I have never in my life been spoken to as you just addressed me. You come into my den looking like high school hobos and lecture me what? on what? fashion. High school I hobos. Like fashion. fashion is fun. And I think no. I was right. We're gonna have to Fashion fight. is life, just not for you two. Here we go. The so Sasha and Kyoko versus a Byron. Time to thread the needle. Hey, why can't we go up? <laughs> okay, this is a different type of ball fight, I think. Time for you to have to board the board in the contract. And a lot of times you, do, you just be running back and forth. But if the bullets hit you, you would die. Oh god. I would be dead. How do you escape?
Get a go, get a bounce eventually. Hey, uh, get hurt. Hey. I think. I think that's what happened. Hey, hey. So soon. Why don't you just walk that way? Walk to the walk to the left. It's just kind of jumping. Right. Walk to the right. <laughs> Finish her! Sometimes it's necessary to be a last 
<laughs> Don't never frame yourself in a wall when these these stop me in there. I know it seems like that's what you do, but really, if you cram yourself against the wall, you're more vulnerable. It means like you don't know, like, can I walk to the left, can I go to the right? Yeah, they don't have anything else. I told you not to. <laughs> that was the toughest one yet, but it should be since it's later in the game, but that was interesting and different compared to all the other boss fights it was very different oh you're tougher than you look and you can fly can you teach us how to do that no we need information and a mini skirt but i can come back for that i don't know the man in your photo but if your boyfriends were indeed kidnapped you should head downtown to the slums ew you're trying to say we belong in a dump. Probably. But if anyone goes missing nine times out of ten, they're taken downtown. There's a secret tunnel behind my factory that will lead you straight there. Why do you have that? Be gone, fashion disasters! Exactly. Why does she have a secret tunnel? Lead to the same place where people go missing. That's where they end up at. We're gonna end the video on this time. Okay guys, with that being said, we defeated two bosses in this episode. We've been a little exhausted trying to get here. I put in that work, and remember, I heard this game was 13 hours, longer than what I expected, longer than what people put on. So that means people were playing this game when they did the reviews. They was playing it practically all day long, not doing anything else with their life, something that I can't do. So, Sunday may not be the deadline, maybe next Sunday will probably be when I, by next Sunday this game should be finished. But I am working on it, playing hours at a time, along with everything else that I'm playing, and everything else that I'm doing. So, River City Girls, out now. If you ain't playing this game, I don't know what the heck is wrong with you. Maybe you just don't have a console to play it on. That better be the only reason you're not playing it, or you're broke and your kids need clothes and food or something. Whatever it may be. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys next show, next video. I'm out of here. Peace.